Today, I want to introduce you to custom collections within the Gospel Library app. In the library here, you can see there are various collections. There's a Jesus Christ collection, there's a scriptures collection, a general conference, come follow me, music. All of these are different collections. When I go into Jesus Christ here, you'll see this contains content all about Jesus Christ. So these collections here are all put out and set by the church, but within the app, you have the ability to create your own custom collections. You can see here, I have created a custom collection called 2023. And when I open that up, it is full of content that I have thrown in that has to do with the year 2023 and things that maybe I could be studying or focusing on this year. So what I want to do is go ahead and show you how I created this custom collection. To do that, first, we're going to go ahead and delete this collection. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna hold down on this and then click on delete. And that has deleted that custom collection. Okay, so let's get started on creating a custom collection that features the things I'm focusing on in 2023. So I'm going to come up here and click on the three dots and click on add collection. And we'll give the collection a name. We're just going to call it 2023 and click save. And now that's created the collection. But you'll notice when I click on it, it's empty because I need to add content to that. So let's start here with Jesus Christ. This year I am studying Jesus the Christ. So I want to add that to my 2023 collection that will make Jesus the Christ even more accessible as I study. So I'll click here on Jesus Christ. And then I'm going to, there's Jesus the Christ right here. And I'll just hold down on that and click add to and click 2023. And now that's added it to, if I go back here, you can look and see Jesus the Christ has now been added to my 2023 collection. And I want to add General Conference from this April. So I'll go to General Conference and I'll hold down on April 2023 and click Add To and choose 2023. And that's added that to my 2023 collection. And say I'm a primary teacher and I want to add the Come Follow Me manual in there. I can do that by coming to come follow me and primary and then just hold down on this New Testament 2023 manual and click add to and 2023. And now that's been added. I could also, if I wanted, maybe youth music is important to me. So I can come here to music and youth music. And I want to add the youth album for 2023. I can hold down on that and click add to. And now that's been added to the album. The church just released a new version of Preach My Gospel. So I can come down here to Handbooks and Callings and go to Mission Callings. And I can hold down on this new version of Preach My Gospel. And I can add that as well to my 2023 collection because maybe that's something I would also like to study. So let's go back here in the library and open up this 2023 and what you'll see is those five items are now in this collection and I can easily access these things instead of having to go through and dig deeper and deeper into these collections that the church has made. I now have a collection that's customized to what I want quick access to. So a few things to know about the collection. If you want to remove an item from the collection, just hold down on it and it'll give you an option to remove it right there. If you want to rename a collection, you'll just come back here to the library and you'll hold down on the collection and there's an option to rename it right there and you could give it a new name. In addition, if you want to remove the content that's in that collection, you can go ahead and do that by clicking remove all or you can completely delete the collection by clicking delete. So there you go. Pretty simple, but very powerful to be able to quickly access content that you're focusing your studies on. Check out these videos for more from Gospel Mom Tech and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos.